Do you need to create custom PDFs with your data, including multiple line items? Here's how you can automate it. Check it out. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business process and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, you can visit our website, interdevsolutions.com, or you can click the link in the description below to book a free consult. Or we're going to use the tool like Airtable. You can use many of the different database tools like Smart Suite to take the data that we have within Airtable in this case, and I'm going to use a custom PDF generation, and we're going to base it off of an estimates for a proposal type of database. This can also be done with invoices, purchase orders, packing slips, or any other type of custom PDF that you need to generate from your data. We're going to have an estimates table, and then we're going to have estimates details or proposal details, something along those lines. It's going to contain our estimate ID or number, estimate date, our status, project name, who our client is. This will also roll up our total from our estimate details or proposal details. And then within our details section, we'll have it linked to our estimate. And then we can have our services and products, our units, our unit price, and our amount. And again, this can be set up for any type of data or any table that you want to generate the PDF from. Now, there is a tool called Docs Automator. It certainly makes things easier to generate PDFs. It helps walk you through the automation setup process and you can design and create your documents from Google Docs. However, in that case, you do need a Google account and it is also a little bit pricier than using some of these HTML to PDF endpoints that I'm going to discuss and demonstrate in this video. And also, if you're looking at creating a large quantity of PDFs, it is also more cost effective to use this HTML to PDF API endpoint. There is a lot of flexibility and customization you do get out of Docs Automator, so it's excellent that way, but you can get really specific with your customization as far as your format and style and your layout is concerned within the HTML to PDF API endpoints that I'm going to discuss here. Again, it is more advanced though. Let's get into it now. If you don't have an Airtable account or SmartSuite account already, you'll have to go ahead and set one up. There's links in the description below. There's also going to be a link in the description below to set up the Make account. Make is the tool we're going to use to integrate from Airtable into our PDF API endpoint. And I'm going to use a tool called PDF Monkey. A PDF Co is another one that I've used in the past. And there's a lot of different endpoints that are available just need to take a look to see what suits you best. Now, one thing that you really need to pay attention to, if you are going to be using Airtable, it needs a public URL link to be able to upload the PDF back into Airtable. So it's important that you pay attention and look through the documentation to make sure that once the PDF is created, it will provide you a URL that you can then pass back to Airtable to upload that PDF automatically. So this is how you would set up your Airtable or your database. Now we can go over to PDF Monkey is what I'm gonna use. You can go ahead, set up an account for free to get started and do some of your testing. And then the first thing that I want to do is authenticate or integrate your PDF Monkey account with Make. If you have not, you'll go to Make. You're going to find the PDF Monkey module but we can just search that pdf monkey and we can just pick anyone to get started you'll go up here click add and you'll have to pass in your api key which can be found within your settings up here once that's done you can go in and we'll add a template we'll give the template a name there is a visual builder i haven't used it or checked it out in too much detail it doesn't seem like it's very intuitive quite yet I just decided to go with the code option and there's a few templates here that you can get started with. Also, good idea would be to get it developed by someone. If you're not an HTML developer yourself, you'd get someone to develop it for you. 
You could also use ChatGPT or something like that. If you need something simpler, it will give you some HTML that you can input into this template and you can search various options or templates that are already out there online. So you have a few options. I'm going to do, we've got my estimate demo. So I've named my template. I'm going to select a blank and I will create my template. Now I have a script or some HTML code that I've pre created and I'm going to paste that in here. And it's actually quite simple. So once I click save, you'll see the template display on the right. And we've got project estimate, the name, date, client name, and estimate number. And then we have our table here, which is going to contain our line items. I save this and we will come back to it in a bit. If you don't have a MAFE account already, again, link in the description below. I've already got my scenario set up, just named it create estimate PDF. And the first thing I'm going to do for testing purposes, I'm going to use an Airtable module, and I'm just going to get a record. Now I will pass in the record ID, which will just be static from here. And you can get that by clicking the expand button and going up to the URL and grabbing the record ID, or we can go over to the right. We can create a new field and call it record ID, pass in the record ID function. Once we create the field, it will pass us the record ID, which we can copy. Now I'll go back into make. I'm going to make sure that I've connected to the right account. I've selected my connection. I'm going to grab the base. I need to select the table, which is the estimate table. And I'm just going to pass in with static text, the record ID here so that we're getting the record that we've already created. So once we've done that, we can go down here to flow control. We're going to grab the iterator. And now we are going to iterate through each line item or estimate detail that it has linked in here. I will pass in the estimate detail array and I click OK. And now I can go down to here, select area table, and we're going to get a record. So what this is going to do is as it passes through the iterator, it's going to get each record that is linked to the original estimate. So when I select it, I can go choose the base choose the table, which in this case is now estimate details. And I will pass in the record ID, which is coming from the iterator. And I can go ahead and click save. Now I'll show you what we will do with the line items. So we need to pass in the line item details and create our HTML table that we have in here. Pass in a compose or a text aggregator or module, and we're going to link that. And the source is going to come from the iterator. And, and now we need to pass in the text. But what this is going to look like, if we go back into PDF monkey and we can scroll down to our line items text here, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to get rid of this second line. And you'll see when I click save, this line here will disappear and it's showing just one line. Because what's going to happen is we're going to pass it into the text aggregator. And for every line item that it's found within the estimate, it will just reproduce this text here with the variable associated there. Copy this, go back to mate and paste this in here. And I'm just going to quickly clean up the format in a little bit. So now we have our table row with our table data or our cells. And now we can map in the details from this third module here, which is getting the estimate details or the line items data. Well, I have to clear out each of these. The first one's going to be our service product. And if we look over here, we have a service product that we can map in. Same with the units and then the unit price. Lastly, we can map in the amount as well. So I'm going to hit okay and save and now i'm going to add in our second last module which is going to be pdf monkey generate a document i've already connected and authenticated the account to pdf monkey now i can go in and choose my app and it will give me a drop down of the templates which we named estimate demo and the json payload is going to look something like this so you want to open and close with the curly brackets if we go back into our estimate demo here, you can see our variables is 
project name, estimate date, client name, and estimate number. If we go back in to here, you need to make sure that it's formatted like proper JSON within quote, we'll go project underscore number. That in a quote, we would use a colon, and then the data we're going to pass in is also going to exist within a quote. Now we're just going to map in the estimate number in this case, and we need to end with a comma. And then if we hit enter, we can pass in the next variable, which is going to be estimate. I'm going to do that for each of our variables that are going to be passed in directly from the estimate and isn't going to have a dynamic number of line items. Now you can see within the PDF monkey module, we have all of our variables that we want to pass in, but there's this line items option here. And I need to pass in this text from our text aggregator. And now that we've got that passed in, we need to make sure that this line items variable will be found within the PDF monkey template. We have our table row closing off our table row with all of our cell data here, which is exactly mapped here. So one thing that we can do because I've named it line items within our PDF monkey module in make, if I delete all of this, I can add in a line items variable. And now all of those table rows will be passed in to this template here. So if I hit save and I'll hit publish, this will be live to do some testing with. And now we can give it a shot to see if it will work for us. So I'll hit run once. It will find that original estimate. It's going to iterate each line item and it shows there are five line items. So if I go into Airtable, I can see there is five line items here. If I go back into make, I'll open this up. We can see that there was five different bundles. And if I open up this, if I go down to the preview URL, I can double click on it, open it up and we'll see what it looks like. And it looks like it passed in all of the information properly. We've got our project name, estimate date, client name, estimate number, and it's passed in our five different line items with the unit price, the amount and the total. So now one last step, if we add in another Airtable module, we're going to update a record make sure we'll select our base again. We'll select our table, which in this case is going to be estimate. As long as we have in the estimates table, this estimate PDF, we can use the original get a record, which is coming from the estimates table. And if we scroll down to the estimate PDF here, add an item, we'll pass in the URL created from the PDF monkey. And we'll use this download URL, which is valid for one hour. And we'll pass in the file name. We run this one more time. We should see the PDF get passed into Airtable. It's like it was all successful. If I go back into Airtable, we can see that a PDF was just added. If I select it. We can see it was the PDF that we just created. This is a relatively simple PDF that we created. However, it does have multiple line items, which tends to be an issue. You can get really specific with the HTML, depending on the exact tool that you use, meaning the HTML to PDF API endpoint, make sure that you take a look and do a deep dive first to make sure it handles everything that you want it to handle. The most difficult part is getting the HTML developed in the way that you want it. I would recommend going external finding someone to develop it for you. This does allow you to accomplish whatever you want, and you can automate your documents quite quickly using the integration of Airtable or wherever your data is stored, make.com. You could also use relay.app or Zapier. They all work as well. And using the HTML to PDF endpoint. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more tutorials in the future.